Well, they found that bale of straw. Carried it out there this morning. It was going to cover up the wife's strawberry plants. But most of the day we've been having 40 mile an hour winds up here, so didn't figure it was any good to cut it open and spread it over them. <laughs> It'd all be, all be over there in the next county probably somewhere, huh? Winds died down a little bit. Pretty nice day. Actually got up to 40 degrees. That's unusual. But with that wind, it was just kind of intolerable. So I was sitting down in the basement by a wood stove and started reading a book I got yesterday. I don't know if it's interesting or not. Let's go see what it is. I started reading this book this afternoon. Some gal named Laura Lee Cracker. I don't know. But it's kind of interesting so far. It's kind of a financial type deal. And uh, apparently this uh, gal that wrote the book, she's from out east and when the financial crunch came on, why they were way upside down and didn't know what to do. And apparently she was part Mennonite and started hanging out, figuring out what these people were doing. You know, how come they were doing so much better than uh, she was? <laughs> Well, probably because they didn't have credit cards and big fancy vehicles and all that stuff, but I'm not into it too far. I don't know where I'm at. I got a dog ear. Yeah, I'm only on page 23. Well, it's a pretty interesting read. Didn't know if anybody would be interested or not. But it was given to me my, yesterday for Christmas by my mother. We're old Germans that haven't been in this country for too long. And you know, we've always lived that way. And it's kind of amazing to Here's somebody else finally figure out what it is to be uh, self-sufficient or as close to it as you can get. Look at that, I can't believe they ain't melted. But anyway, just sitting around doing nothing, waiting for the chickens to go to bed. I hope you all had a good Christmas. Hope you all have a happy new year. Sure as hell can't get any worse, can it? <laughs> Alrighty.